this is Jewelry Jelly, and I am here with Rita and George Washing Machine. And we are going to be playing a demo tonight. I don't know how long this is going to last, so this is my first time. Um, I heard about this game a few days ago, and it's like, oh, NIS does it. Okay, um, this seems pretty interesting. Be right back.
guys, sorry for the brief interruption. Um, my um, mother called, and uh, we needed to hammer out our um, we need to hammer out our plans for Mother's Day. So, it just happens to also be the birthday for a family member of ours, and uh, we will be spending the day with her. Part of it, at least. All right, so this is Monster Menu, the Scavenger's Cookbook. Turn on censoring. Some images and scenes will be modified. Can be adjusted from the settings menu. What's being censored? Okay. All right, so it looks like there are three difficulty levels. Four difficulty levels. Easy for inexperienced adventurers. Weak enemies and less meter depletion while resting. Choose this if the game is a bit too hard. Normal for seasoned adventurers. Regular enemies and regular meter depletion while resting. Your fair share of hardships await. Hard for adventurers seeking a challenge. Stronger enemies and higher meter depletion while resting. Requires expertise, but don't give up. Nightmare for adventurers who want to push their limits. Strongest enemies and lots of meter depletion while resting. Give it your all or you'll surely die. That sounds pleasant, but in any case, we are going to play on normal. Luckily, it can be changed within the game, so select a character to represent you. Okay, so, ooh, we got an assortment. So we've got this guy, we've got this guy, this guy, this guy, this girl, this girl, this girl, and this girl. Um, let's see, I think I'm going to go with our uh, black-haired goth friend. Okay, so it looks like we can um, change different aspects of a character. So let's see. So this one, oh! <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, that's a little bouncy. <laughs> And let's see, this one. Oh, this one it kind of reminds me of uh, Kagamine Len, doesn't it? And then we have this one, who kind of looks... Okay, so we have different classes. There's Berserker, Lancer, Archer, Mage... Thief, Barbarian, Chef, Jobless, Adventurer, Swordsman. Alright, so I think what we're gonna do... We're going to go with Miss Bouncy. So her name is Moira, but let's change it. I want to change it to Mommy, but... It's weird. So let's change it. To Jelly Bean. Okay. Oh, we can um make them male, female, or unknown. Okay, so the default class is Lancer. A class with a decent range, good with spears, balanced in attack and defense, spear starter can use magic when advanced. Archer, a class with a large attack range, good with a bow, defense is on weaker side, bow starter needs arrows to attack. Mage, a rare class that can use all elemental magic. Attacks are powerful, but are restricted by range. No starter, suited to back lines due to low defense. Thief, fastest class, highest range of movement. Suited to swords and bows. Middling resistance. Bow starter needs arrows to attack. Barbarian. Suited to bare-fisted fighting. High HP and powerful attacks, but low defense. No starter. Graded on unarmed combat. Chef. More suited to cooking than combat. Advanced cooking skills. Has the ability to heal. Hard to use with their lower overall stats. 
jobless. Their slovenly lifestyle is probably what led to their low stats. Will they ever take anything seriously? Adventurer. Swift with a wide range of movement. Good with swords and bows. Not so much with attack power. Sword starter. Can use magic when advanced. Swordsman. High defense, but otherwise average overall. Suited for swords can carry a good bit of weight. Sword starter can use magic when advanced. Berserker. High attacking power, but other stats are low. Suited to axes. Specializes in physical attacks. Axe starter doesn't appear to have a knack for magic. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I am going to go for... Let's see. I'm going to just go for a general swordsman. Let's see. Faces. We have face G, H, A. Whoa! C. <laughs> All right, I think what we'll do is we will go for, let's see. How about this? She kind of looks like uh, Kyoko from Madoka Magika a bit. Accessory, so we've got none, A, B, C, D. Okay, so let's see. Height, one, two, three, four, five, minus five. So basically, let's see. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this for the hair. Okay, and let's do colors. So there's different colors. So G, H, I, J, K, L, A, B, C, D. Ooh, we can make her look like all Christ. Okay, skin colors. Well, that's a fair amount. Even fantasy tones. Let's see. Ooh, you can recolor her clothing. Let's see. I like that one. Okay, and you can give her heterochromia. Let's see. Let's see. We'll give her green eyes and red hair. So now. So here's what Jelly Bean looks like. Um, nice butt. Okay, pose. Yay. Uh-huh. Ha. Oh my. Yeah. Oh god, just the expression she has on her face with all of those poses. It's just like, she strikes me as the type of character that just has one volume and one volume only. And just speaks in monotone. Well, there's a smile. Alright, so let's just give her that smug little smile. Heh. Mood. Normal. Red-faced. Pale. Hot. Okay, so let's see. Expression. There we go. Give her expression B. That gives her the little smile. Alright. So now we have made our character. Jelly Bean. P. 
Tion is a town known for its adventurers. Being an adventurer yourself, you spent your time training with Pion's finest. As a test of skill, you've set off to a nearby dungeon known as the Sealed Lands. The Sealed Lands are meant for beginners. It was expected that there'd be no issue. However, in an unfortunate turn of fate, you find yourself stranded without supplies. After wandering in Romo for three full days, you can't still can't seem to find the exit. start by exploring the dungeon. Your basic controls are as follows. Um, the left stick moves the character. B's jump. X for the menu. ZR for dash and R for rotating the camera. Okay, so let's see. I am starving and dangerously dehydrated. That is not good. When does this game officially comes out? Um, in a couple weeks, actually. Scavenging. Approach a shining objects and press A to scavenge. Items you obtain from scavenging differ based on what you collect them from. Okay, so it looks like, all right, what can we scavenge? Hey, it's hay. You can't let yourself die here. Oops. Got a small stone. I can't eat stones. <sighs> Adventurer needs food badly. Also, by the way, recently I have started playing a new mobile game, Life Makeover. It is a fashion game that has detective story elements in it. So it's kind of like style savvy meets Phoenix Wright. Forgive me for saying this, she's bouncy. You don't need to because we already know. What the heck is that? One corpse meat. You are currently famished. Eat the corpse's flesh. <laughs> you decide to eat the leg of a corpse. It doesn't look edible by any means. But there's no fighting against starvation. Obviously, this was a bad idea. Suddenly, You've fallen unconscious. As you take in your surroundings, you notice that the place you're in now is very different from where you were moments ago. It seems someone has been camping here. There are various items strewn about, but they all seem to be broken. You don't sense anyone around, and the broken items suggest they saw use ages ago. There are no signs of monster activity either. 
It looks like a safe place, perfect for a campsite. You decide to use this camp as your base while you find a way out of the dungeon. Okay, so now it looks like it is delicious in dungeon for the video game. This is your base. Here you can check your inventory and equipment, cook food, craft tools, and prepare for the expedition ahead. It's also where you can save progress. Saving during an expedition is uncommon, so save at your base. Autosave can be turned on whenever you return to base. View your settings to toggle the option on off. When you're ready to head off, select a part to go explore. Yeah. Okay, so I got a bunch of stuff. Create items such as cookware or arrows by combining different materials. Craft items from by selecting up to five materials. Okay. All right, so let's see. All right, so we don't have, oh, we have a frying pan. Let's make the frying pan. Yay, we made a frying pan. After defeating the Orgon, you can stop, rest, and save your game. Be sure to save whenever you can. Your game will be auto-saved if you have the option turned on. Feed monster menu meals to different characters by selecting Eat. Different meals have different effects. Don't forget to chow down while working through the dungeon. Okay, so... All right, so it looks like dirt poor dish. At least it's edible. So let's see. Hey, seemingly useless hay. Small stone. Okay, let's cook. Congratulations, we now have a dirt poor dish. We will eat the dirt poor dish. First covered 5 HP, recovered 100 calories, recovered 70 hydration, happiness decreased by 50. Okay, let's depart, shall we? You're back on another expedition. Make sure to keep an eye on your HP, calories, and hydration when exploring. Also be wary of wandering monsters. If you make contact with one, a battle will start. Stairs to the next floor are located in every dungeon. Keep an eye out for those monsters and find the stairs. It's getting a little brighter. It's bright out. Monsters are more sluggish now. Something's there. Whoop. Your first battle. Select the action you want to perform and defeat the monsters. Okay. We got busted guts. Be careful. Let's see. Whoops, ambushed. Okay, we got some meat. Ooh, what 
is here. Is this the... Okay, interacting with stairs gives you two options, next floor and rest. This option sends you to the next floor, or this option sends you to a rest camp. Camp. Here you can recover health and eat when done you're sent to the next floor. While you can tackle floors without rest, you'll gradually get more and more tired. Remember to take breaks on your quest. Okay, so now that we know that it's here, we'll go back to it. You'll come out, well, you will come across altars while out exploring dungeons. As at altars, spend shards you've collected from enemies to have various curses thrust upon you. Altar effects persist until you return to base. Identical effects can be stacked. Not all effects are beneficial, so choose wisely. Okay, so it looks like we've only got 30 shards right now, so we can't really do anything. Small meat has become less fresh. more meat. There's another altar. Okay, now that we've managed to find out where the next level is, I think I am going to go there and head to our camp and rest. Okay, let's rest. By the way, I've got cinnamon tea tonight. like small stone a face root busted guts small meat small meat and firewood ooh had shrimp lo mein from pf chang's for dinner ooh that sounds really good so let's see going to try combining the face root and the small meat. Failed dish! I'm sorry for torturing you, poor jelly bean. <sighs> Happiness decreased by 300. Food poisoning level 1 activated. Alright, so let's take the rest. Okay, we are on floor, 
floor two of the ruins. And, oh my god, what the heck is that? should be dead. Instead, you find yourself back at your base. You don't seem to be dreaming, but what else could explain these strange circumstances? You're starting to feel as though escape will be impossible all on your own. You wish you had others to join you. You pray your hardest for someone to come. Select an adventurer to join you on your quest. All right, so now we can create another character to be our ally. So, let's see here. Okay, how about we go for Mr. Psycho Guy here? Let's see. Um, let's name him. Let's see. Well, his default name is Sigmar. So, let's see. Those crazy eyes. Okay, we'll name him Crazy Eyes. So his name is Crazy Eyes. He is a berserker. I'm gonna keep him as a berserker. Okay, so hair, let's see. crazy guy. <laughs> okay, and let's see. Hair color. Let's see. Can we do pure black? Hmm. We should do green. Well, we'll turn him into an orc. Crazy eyes. Let's see, crazy eyes smiling, crazy eyes meh. Okay, let's give well. Now that's really crazy eyes. Okay, so here's Mr. Crazy Eyes. Okay, so we can make more allies. Okay, so let's make another member. All right, so let's make a girl this time. Let's do, let's see. How about this young person here? Um, let's see, well, their default name is Lumetia. So we've got Jelly Bean, we've got Crazy Eyes. Let's see, how about something like, see if I can do this.
Okay, so. Alright, so. Okay, so we are going to be able to... I'm going to make George Washing Machine here. So George Washing Machine is going to be a big guy. Okay. So, let's see. Class, Lancer, Archer, Mage, Thief. Yeah, he is a thief. D, face. Oh my god. Okay, so we're gonna give him a slacker look. Let's see. Gotta look as slovenly as possible. Yeah, give him that. That would be cool. Okay, so, let's see. We'll give him pure white hair. And blue skin. Oh, I gave, <laughs> I gave him a ribbon! Okay! You know what? I'm keeping that. And let's give, okay, so different eye colors. There we go. Okay, so there is George Washing Machine. So we've got crazy eyes. We've got George Washing Machine, and now we need another ally. So let's do a girl. We'll do this one. Let's see. Let's see, we need a good name, something, hmm. Mabel. Okay. So let's see, I wanna, I think maybe what I'll do is I will have her be a mage. glasses. Make her a little small. And let's say give her pink hair. Yeah, that's not that bad. And we'll give her the Anya look. Okay, so we have... Jellybean, our main character. Ally number one, Crazy Eyes. Ally number two, George Washing Machine. And ally number three, Mabel. Let's do this. You suddenly sense a presence. Not a monster, definitely a human. The person standing there is an adventurer, someone else from the Fion Adventures Guild. They've also found themselves stranded in the sealed lands. Together, you decide to team up in order to find a way out of the dungeon. A 
Adventurers die if their HP reaches zero. You can continue to explore if a party member dies, but the expedition ends if the party leader dies. If the whole party is KO'd, don't give up. You must fight on. When returned to base upon death, your adventurers will lose stats along with some of their items. Lost upon death, adventurers' levels, skills gained from food, materials on difficulty normal or higher, and traps on difficulty normal or higher. Not lost upon death, skills gained outside of food, equipment, and valuable items. That's it for your basic tutorial. Check out the help section in your notebook for more details. Your notebook also records info about items you collect and monsters you meet. Your notebook will be a helpful tool on your quest to escape the dungeon. Okay, so. We have Jelly Bean, we have Crazy Eyes, we have George Washing Machine, and we have Mabel. All right, let's do that. Let's get out and explore. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is... Ah. This should be okay. I'll manage. I'll manage. Crazy Eyes sounds crazy. gosh you're looking at um up at the top of the screen you can see everybody's character portraits and uh george washing machine is oh, let's see so crazy eyes is so short you can barely see him something's there all right so Stone knife and a stone cutter's knife legendary and a primitive axe rare. All right, so okay, so stone cutter's knife. Okay, so okay, so it looks like oh wow, so um. HP up, big bug slayer, happiness up, demon slayer, mimic shield, mat up. All right, so. with a long history. Okay, so I gave it to Crazy Eyes. some meat.
advantage. Ambushed. Attacked an ally. There's the stairs, and there's the altar. Okay, so let's see. Blessings from a cursed god. veggies. Looks nice and healthy. Alright, speed up. Grilled meat. veggies, grilled meat, grilled fish, stir-fried bugs. Okay, so let's eat, shall we? All right, so. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, she's happy. Okay, crazy eyes. George washing machine. I'll give some to Mabel. Alright. And let's rest. And we'll resume our expedition. We went up a level.
Okay, so it looks like we're done with that part. Let's see. Ooh. Enhance blessings from a cursed god. All right, let's rest and cook. So we've got grilled meat and veggies. Let's see. Let's see. So we've got firewood, hay. Hmm. Rotten thing. Beast meat. I fruit, black hole, failed dish. Let's see, cook using recipes. Dead guy stir fry. <laughs> So, let's give Crazy Eyes some food. Crazy Eyes looks very happy. Alright, going into the next day, and we will head out and discard the food poisoning. What the heck is that? A chickadee! It is a very big chickadee.
ourselves some more eggs. Oh snap, we had a mimic! Oh dang, it's a bit gee chickadee. It's a gigantic chickadee. I think there should be ways to make arrows while out exploring.
leveled up. Let's see if we can find the uh, exit. So it looks like I'm going to need to find some branches in order to remake some arrows. Alright, let's see. Let's take a good rest. And let's continue, shall we? Thank you. 
for the follower, you go craft. One postscript one dash four. Something there. Be careful. Be careful. Whoa.
Let's take a rest. Gonna tap out for the night. Thank you very much, MJD. I hope you have a good night. Poor Mabel gets the dirt poor dish.
chicken do and a chicken d. Alright, so we're gonna rest, make sure that Mabel is recovered. Oh, dang.
right, so unfortunately we've lost Mabel. Mabel. That's the only thing. Wait, what the heck is that? A soldier, huh? Oh god, don't tell me they ate Abel. Ate Mabel, I should say. So I went to the next floor instead of resting. Oh well.
take a rest. until the next morning. A girl who seems to have things under control. An introvert who likes their alone time. Loves fruit and has a thing for mindless munching at buffets. Occupation. Mage. An expert with magic. While adept at magic, lacks any real strength or stamina. A girl with a somewhat mature air. An optimist who's always laid back. Loves sweets and spends their free time in dessert shops. Occupation. Sword wielder. They're good with swords. High physical attack and defense stats they shine in the sword fight. A boy with an imposing, dangerous aura. A heroic personality without a fear in the world. Loves meat so much they'll even hunt law on the job. A boy who acts like a dependable older sibling. A serious character <sighs> who always sticks by the rules. Loves mushrooms. Dreams of owning a mushroom farm.
there's an altar. Alright, so it looks like we're over encumbered, so let's see if we can... Oh, we don't have enough to make, make um, arrows. Okay, all right, so we're going to rest and we're going to end things off for the evening. All right, 
so I don't know how long this lets you play, but I think we've only got a little bit of time left. I'm usually, I think that usually um, demos only take about three hours. So let's check to see who is streaming right now and we'll go and raid them. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. By the way, everybody, I hope you all have a great night. I hope that all of you are excited about uh, the release of uh, Tears of the Kingdom tomorrow. I am eagerly awaiting my copy. And let's see who we can raid. Um, I believe what we will do is we will be raiding. Let's see. We're going to say, hmm. I don't want to raid anybody who is currently um, playing Tires of the Kingdom. I don't want to put anybody with um, any spoilers. So. Let's um, raid Radio Dead Air. They're playing Stardew Valley. All right, everyone. So I hope you all have a good night and a pleasant tomorrow. And may all of your tea times be perfect.